Hello friends and followers and welcome back to another RAW episode. You might know this project from an edited video that was done in uh, November 2022, but now it is January 2023 and I thought this the style, it was so nice, I want to do a raw video Good. of it as well um, for my patrons. Okay. Step one, we need to put out all the cans so that we can see what cans we have. Kamera läuft noch. Stellen wir das mal hier hin. The camera was still running. And this project was a quite funny project because I had two cameramen, uh, the guy that you see um, recording me is Christian, Christian, and uh, he made a super super nice German documentary about me and what I'm doing as a YouTuber and so on, and uh, it is linked in the video description and also in the upper right corner. Okay. Good. Uh, let's sort them. It always helps me to make some groups of colors, like all the greens together, all the reds, or. This is not black, this is military green. And... So, this is Nick. My YouTube friend and real life friend Nick was making some suspicious noises and I didn't know what was happening behind me. Litchi, our outline color. And shading. And now comes the fill in. Slope, slope, slope. Basalt, dark red. Oh, just took one red. Okay, weird. Okay, so. Fill in outlines and blocks, background. Let's start with the first lines. I take just greenery for no reason. Okay. I decided to take an eraser color as the second color so that I can do outlines and um, erase oh, some mistakes okay. with a second color.
Um, by the way, the sketch that I took with me is made on my iPad Pro with Procreate, Procreate app. Um, in my, my opinion, still the best painting app that you can imagine, especially when you want to create styles and want to carve them, morph them, um, try a lot of different things until you're super happy with the overall design of the letters. And this is why I love to use Procreate. And the sketch that I took with me is just printed at home at my uh, printer in the office. And if I would have a super nice sketch on paper, I would not take it to the wall. I would make a copy of it um, in the office as in the office as well, <laughs> or in a copy shop. I've made a lot of copies of sketches in my life because back then when I was in school. Um, a lot of people always ask me, oh, can you paint a sketch for me? And Or can you paint a sketch for a birthday of someone? And uh, I always uh, made a copy of it so that I can at least keep the copy or I even uh, gave away just the copy and kept the original um, sketch at home because I, I know that I will uh, value these sketches so much more than everyone else because it is part of the history and yeah i made a lot of copies of sketches holy macaroni and the o is so crooked i had some trouble because there was this pillar in front of of the wall. It was not a super smooth wall. Talking to myself. Das ist nicht so wild. I I did not understand what uh, Christian was talking about. I can't tell you. I can't translate it for you. I think he said <laughs> What's the lighter? I need the ladder. What's the lighter? I need the ladder. Because I can't reach up high enough. Yeah, we used the ladder to uh, get up to the floor where we were painting because the stairs were covered. I was just checking if the camera was still running. What am I doing there? Smell. I breathe like Darth Vader. I 
I really like this ladder. I think it is um, linked in the video description as well. Altrex Smart Up Pro. I sound a little bit like an old steam en engine. So I think I'm officially old school now. I think this is even the biggest um, piece that I've painted so far. It is even bigger than um, when I painted on the biggest wall in Germany, on the Lincoln Wall in Darmstadt. Um, I will link the video of it at the end of this video. I'll make a note. Lincoln Wall. End card. Oh, yeah, on point. And there is a very beautiful single connected extra bar, a uh, skep, S C E B, growing out of the left side of the S to give it a little bit more flow. with a bubble and a nice lid on top of the scap. And I even <laughs> and I even did the section lines in the first lines crazy. Not necessary but I just noticed that I need to adjust it a little bit. The bottom part of S was not leaning enough to the left side. So I needed to stretch it a little bit. Yo, and now follows a very long German conversation, so the German audience will be happy, and I will translate it for you afterwards in two or three okay. minutes. We have enough time. This video is very long. <laughs> Ja, es ist ja allein schon für den Ungeübten, das ist ja schon super schwer, überhaupt die Buchstaben hier drin zu finden, obwohl das hier quasi der größtmögliche Kontrast ist, ne? Ja, da bin ich sowieso schon äh, der Falsch. Aber ich meine, ich, ich weiß ja, wie es werden soll, aber ich sehe halt die Form von dem... Ich sehe es nicht. <lacht> ja. Und ich schon an, dass du das ähnlich der Vorlage hast, ne? 
Ja, 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 ja. Ja, wobei die Vorlage, da ist ja noch ein wesentlicher Unterschied. Die Vorlage ist aus dem Handgelenk gemacht und das hier wird ja aus dem Körper gemacht. Das heißt, die einzelne Linie als solches an der Wand kann nicht so sein wie die Vorlage auf der, äh, wie, die, wie die Linie auf der Vorlage, weil es halt einfach aus einer anderen Bewegung heraus gemacht ist. Und dadurch wird es, gibt es immer kleinere Veränderungen, aber das ist auch völlig in Ordnung. Hast du immer, immer so eine Vorlage? Nee. Ich habe jetzt mal, jetzt mal, ich habe mir jetzt mal seit längerem mal wieder die Zeit genommen, überhaupt Vorlagen zu erstellen, weil ich äh, fast das ganze Jahr nur gefreestylt habe. Und wenn man freestylt, dann macht man ja alle Entscheidungen und alles relativ spontan an der Wand. Das hat den Vorteil, dass man also weniger Zeit für den Entwurf braucht, weil man ihn direkt auf der Wand macht und ihn nicht nochmal übertragen muss. Aber man kann nicht so sehr ins Detail gehen und so, man, man ist nicht so, man macht nicht so viel neue Sachen, weil man freestylt, dann macht man eher Sachen, die man auch schon mal gemacht hat, hat und die sich bewährt haben und dementsprechend äh, wollte ich jetzt hier gerne mal wieder äh, was Vorbereitetes umsetzen, damit das ähm, auch eine entsprechende Qualität hat, eine Kluck-Cola-Qualität, KKQ. Kaku! Das ist, das klingt, wie so ein, klingt wie so ein Kinderwort, die Kakaku. Das klingt wie ein Kinderbuch. Christian Konfer und die Kakaku. Also Auftragsarbeiten mache ich ja gar nicht mehr. Ich mache ja nur noch, also ich mache das ganze Jahr ja nur noch freie Arbeiten. Oder halt Leute, die sagen, okay, äh, mal das, worauf du Lust hast. Und dann male ich, worauf ich Lust habe. Ähm, aber wenn ich Aufträge gemalt habe oder so, dann musste ich ja auch immer vorher alles mit den Kunden abstimmen. Und dann habe ich immer Foto, Fotomontagen gemacht. Und die musste ich dann quasi dann eins zu eins abmalen. Da war ich ja wie so ein menschlicher Drucker. Und das hat mich auch immer total unter Druck gesetzt. Deswegen heißt das wahrscheinlich auch Drucker. Weil dann, dann ist ja quasi das Ideal, ist ja quasi der Vorlage zu entsprechen. Und jede Idee, die dir dann währenddessen passiert, die auch vielleicht gut sein kann, die man selber für gut erachtet, kann man dem Kunden halt sehr schwer ähm, kommunizieren. Und ähm, deswegen bin ich ganz froh, dass ich keine, keine Stromkästen und diese Sachen mehr machen muss, wo dann der ganze Kegelverein darüber abstimmt und man dann noch 30 Sonder die richtige war und welche nicht. Ja, ne? Okay. Time for translating everything. Christian asked me. Can you stop talking now? Please? Okay, Christian said that he needed to make everything white first, but I, I just don't answer. <laughs> This is so funny. Okay. Um, Christian asked me the first question. Um, um, that he he has no idea what I'm painting over there and that he has absolutely no orientation and it seems to be just patterns over patterns and he just doesn't get anything of it and I told him that um, I um, that, that regular people ordinary people who have nothing to do with graffiti Are, are even not possible to read it when they see it in the clearest way possible on 
a piece of paper that I was having in my hand. And then Christian asked, is it, um, if, if I am trying to copy it exactly the way like it is on the paper, and I said, no, it is not even possible to do it like that because I want to go with the flow. I want to um, make this design but with my body and not with my with my hand because you make the um, lines on a piece of paper in a very different way like you are doing them on a wall because on the wall you're working with your whole body and on the paper you're just working with your hand and this is why lines appear in a different way and it has to be a little bit different because when you try to force yourself okay i didn't say it when i was talking with christian but i say it to you now when you force yourself um to paint the same way like you did in the sketch and you do it on the wall there are sometimes lines that are close to impossible to paint that way because you can't, you can't do this one line. Sometimes it happens to you that you notice that you can't do this one line um, in the way like you did it on the paper because you do it with your whole body. So this was the first thing. Um, then he asked me if I have always um, a, a, a design with me that is prepared on a paper. And I said, no. I wanted um, I wanted to prepare something because if yeah the camera is running okay then right um, the blink is good um, I said that I wanted to pr prepare something on the paper because I did so many freestyles this year <coughs> and yeah, I just and I just wanted to uh, prepare something because when you're working on the iPad Pro or working on the paper, you do more experiments like you would do when you paint on the wall. When you paint on the wall, a freestyle, most times you do something that you have painted already before, something where you know that this is the secure way and you don't make any experiments. And I wanted to paint something quote-unquote new, of course, in my... Uh, ordinary small style but I wanted to, to, to do something that I did not paint before and it has to have some sort of a quality because the, um, the documentary that Christian did about my work it, um, it was in the pre-roll of the cinema in my hometown and I wanted to look good in this um in this movie, in this documentary, even if nobody sees any difference between a crooked graffiti in my hometown and a good graffiti, but it, I, I did it for me. I did it for me. I wanted to have something um, that is not boring and already done on a wall already. Yeah, and... Then we made some jokes that probably just work in German. But this was basically what we were talking about. But it's most times like that the people who have nothing to do with graffiti, they're always like, what is standing there? I can't read it. Can you help me through the letters? And most times I take the time and just... Um, help them to read it and show them where the letters are and then they most most times they're very happy and then they can see it and afterwards at the evening they tell their friends today i met a graffiti artist and he was not an aggressive gangster he was really nice <laughs> and he even told me what he was painting and he showed me the letters this was so much fun yeah I really like this small talk and showing people a little bit from my crazy world.
25 minutes and nearly the first line's done. This is really, really good. Ah, crooked. I don't know who Tom is and I don't know if Tom really is gay or if Tom is cool but at the end of this video I will give Tom some props because I went over his piece and also the piece from Node the throw up that was a little bit manipulated from somebody but this is what happens when kids find an old spray can in an abandoned place. They start painting into graffitis that are already there. This is um, why I always take my cans with me. And if you can take your cans with me for whatever reason and they are close to be empty, always pinch a hole in it so that the pressure is not there anymore and uh, nobody can use them and destroy something. Because even if you think the spray can is empty, kids, they can still paint with it. Always enough to paint something stupid, to paint a penis in your artwork. They're always painting penises. Good, yeah, that sieht schon good aus. Das ist schon sehr, sehr krass. Look. This already looks good. I'm happy. Ja, noch. So. Checking the proportions in a smaller smaller scale on the screen. On a smaller scale on the screen. I saw that I did not paint the first lines of some of the blocks. Also, the lid still needs a block. <coughs> and I do the first lines, even of the blocks, um, first, because I want to make the out the outlines. I want to make the background all around it. Okay. Because I want to work with a dark background. 
And as the wall is already pretty light. Oh, Tösi, ich hole die Leiter. Oh, Tösi is coming. Brauchst du eine Leiter? My cameraman. Do you need a ladder? But he's a climbing expert. Hast du mich angerufen? Hast du mich angerufen? Okay. Hallo. Hallo. Töser, Christian, Christian, Töser. Ja. Geschafft. Wende war es noch das Geilste überhaupt. Nein, das Ding ist auch geil. Das Ding. Das Ding ist geil, aber. Ja, doch, wir haben genug Farbe. Ah ja, und die Rolle haben wir auch. Gut. Tösa asked me, and you maybe ask yourself as well, why didn't I use this um, spray gun? And the answer is pretty simple. I uh, just forgot to charge the batteries this morning. And I just had um, one nearly empty battery. The other battery was empty. I was not very well prepared, my fault. And so I had to use the roller. But it works as well. But the spray gun would probably um, have used less um, less color, <clears throat> less paint, less paint. I think we can also put a little bit of water in it and make it a little bit thinner. I think we can still put a little bit of water in it and make it a little bit thinner. Oh, it's running the whole time. Shows in the wrong direction. Oh, it's running 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 the <laughs> I'm peeing in the bucket. <laughs> no, it's just water. <laughs> Tweezer probably thought the same. <laughs> and if you want to mix paint, Without a stick, this is the technique. Works even better when there is a lid on the bucket. And I was really thinking if I will skip that part where I was um, painting all around the first lines because I will start um, doing the fill in in an hour. So at one hour and uh, 38 minutes, I will start using. Bitte. The spray paint. So lean back and enjoy one whole hour of snow preparing a wall with the roller <laughs> and rolling all around the piece. Even in two different camera angles. And I was scraping with the metal part of the roll um, at the other wall because I wanted to have a straight edge at the at the right side, but I will change that at the end. 
I will even take a, um, a brush and make some straight lines with it. Yeah, it was. I was a little bit nervous also because um, of the other cameraman and because he wants to make this super beautiful documentary. So I made it as beautiful as possible. Sind wir mit dem E-Roller hier jetzt? Okay. And we were so lucky with the weather that day. We had such a beautiful sunshine. And I also think that with the spray gun, I would have been so much faster with the spray gun. I want to make a battle. Roller against spray gun, just to see who is faster. Like the blindfolded battle that I've done. Roller Smo against paint gun Smo. Oh, does I, I will I will do that. I will do that. This is super interesting. And I think this um, graffiti on the left side, the naked Tom, it is so funny. It is so funny. This is this is art. Really, this is art. I like it. The expression of it. In the raw video that I was talking about earlier, the wall, um, the the graffiti at the Lincoln Wall. Um, I asked you what you think about the first lines and at this point I want to ask you what you think about painting the background. Do you enjoy seeing this? <laughs> Slowly but steady filling the background in a dark color. Please give me some feedback if I should skip that part the next time or if you would say no this is meditative enjoyable and exactly what we want to see for an hour oh come on let's change the camera angle yeah 
this is beautiful. Yeah, and I'm rolling all around the piece because um, the wall is already in a light color and so all the spray paint that I will apply in the fill-in will shine more. Where is the drone? Got a tiny spot. When I was doing this with the spray gun, it would be such an annoying sound. And now we got the same annoying sound from the drone. <laughs> A huge um, sorry to everyone who uses this video to fall asleep. Just imagine this sound and some bees <laughs> bringing you the most delicious honey. And you're swimming in it together with a mermaid. <laughs> have, have some great dreams. What I think is pretty annoying about the roller is that there, there are always tiny white spots um, that the roller doesn't reach because the wall is not that smooth. And this wouldn't happen with the spray gun. I'm really looking forward to the battle roller versus spray gun. I think this is extremely interesting. And I don't roll until to the ground because um, I don't want to have the roller that dirty because there is so much dust and tiny stones and stuff in front of the wall and I don't want to have this all um, in my background color Finally, the bees are gone.
I'm always making these sounds. My wife is always making fun of uh, fun about me when I make sounds like that, when I'm working, when I'm doing something. It, I, I think I don't make this sound because it is so hard to uh, roll the wall. It's because of concentration or something. It's so weird. Oh, now the battery of the other camera died. And I was so sorry for um, Christian because I, I wished that I was able to do something spectacular, but painting a graffiti, especially when you're painting a legal graffiti, like I'm doing here, it is such a long and kind of boring process there is not that much happening it's always just that spectacular when you edit a video put some crazy music um, in the video and cut it all real quick but the raw process it is It is not that spectacular. Nee. Oh, Nick Nicht is back. Im Raum. Hast du einen Penis gemalt? Hast du einen Penis gemalt? So. I don't know why I asked Tösi if he has painted a penis. So ein bisschen so Ausmaße an wie in äh, dieser Autobahn. In ja, Frankfurt. Das ist äh, Darmstadt. Aber ist ja in der Nähe von Frankfurt. Yes. Darmstadt is close to Frankfurt. Das hier größer? Na, es ist nicht so hoch, ne? It is bigger. It is Aber bigger. Aber muss ich halt den Hintergrund selber streichen. Yeah, this was an advantage in Darmstadt. I had more time for the first lines. I think I finished the first lines in about an hour or something. But I did not had did not have to um, to fill the background. It was already prepared. This was a great service. Thank you, Mr. Speed. Big thanks to Mr. Speed, the organizer of this um, event in Darmstadt. Thank <laughs> you. 
I always try to go as close as possible to the first lines so that I don't have to repair that much. And I try to make a straight line with the roller only. But I will refine it. So good. Checking how straight it is. And it was good. I don't know what these numbers were for. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe it shows when some of the machines in this room were damaged. Yeah. 
wie ich. I didn't understand what Christian was saying. Something with the time lapse. He, he probably wants to speed up his life. <laughs> hm? Ich glaube, die lasse ich so. Die finde ich irgendwie ganz cool. Because I asked if I will paint over the numbers, but I will let them like that. I need to do it with a brush. And as my shoulders were hurting already very much, I with them the kante entlang. Und unten muss ich auch irgendwie einmal schön machen. Dass da nichts mehr rausguckt. I need to make everything beautiful. So that there are no white spots left over. And I think now I will stop with the long stick. Schlup. Aber ich habe auf jeden Fall genug Farbe dabei. I got enough color. I got enough paint. I always mess it up. Color <coughs> and paint. In Germany it's both the same word. It's just Farbe. Color and paint is the same word in Germany. Like heaven and sky, it's both Himmel. Pünsel. Der Pünsel. Everything has to be beautiful. And a clean piece on a sloppy filled background would look like shit. So it has to be nice. Can you please give me the roll? Thank you, Tuzi.
the way, I want to ask you, would you love to have an ASMR graffiti video? Like just the sounds of the brush and the spray can without any talking. So please write it Schwerst du dich darüber, wenn ich Charakter male, dass du dann nie weißt, wo ich als nächstes male? Ja, das ist ein Problem. Ja, yeah, please write it in the comments if you would love to have a ASMR graffiti video. I was just thinking about it while I'm making these beautiful noises. Yeah, Tersi is always complaining when I'm um, painting characters that he never knows where my hand will go next because I paint characters most times in a very confusing way. And when I paint um, a graffiti, he always knows where to go with the camera next because I'm doing outlines and he already knows where the outline will end probably. So yeah, it is hard for a cameraman to record an artist doing um, characters. This is such a straight line. Okay, and now I messed it up. Now two cameramen are talking and only me is working. Das Geile ist, die Akustik ist so scheiße hier, ich kann kein Wort von dem verstehen, was ihr sagt. Es hätte Nur so Schlagwörter wie Scheiße. I said that the acoustics in this room is so terrible that I don't understand anything of what they are talking behind me, except one word, Scheiße, which means shit. But I think this is a word that um, most people on the on this planet know in German. Scheiße. Ein Kollege von mir, der ist auch YouTuber, Doak, und der äh, der schafft das. Quasi, wenn, du, wenn, wenn der dieses Projekt machen würde, hätte der am Ende hätte der so 10 GB Material, 10, 15 GB. Während ich so 200 habe. 
<laughs> I was talking. I was talking with talking with Doke about recording and all this stuff because I was so fascinated that he is really not recording that much uh, when he is painting, and he manages it to make such What? a video um, with Krass. just 10 gigabytes or 15 gigabytes of material, while I have 200. It's crazy. He really so, knows yeah, when to start ja. the camera okay. and when to uh, stop the camera so well. And I, I just record everything. And as Christian is a professional cameraman, he really uh, learned that, that all this stuff. And he learned it when they were still uh, recording yeah. on tape. And he said back then when they were making a documentary, they were just allowed to have twice the amount of footage um, th in comparison to what they will need at the end. Das heißt, bei meinem eigenen Voice-Over, was ich mache, habe ich immer noch eine Frequenz von 1 zu 3 oder so, was ich tatsächlich benutze und was ich dann nochmal sage, weil ich mich verhaspel. Ja. Yeah. And even when I do Voice-Over, I will change it more than twice the time. No. Aber in der geraden Kante sieht das gut aus, ne? Das sieht doch schön aus. Oh, this oh, looks beautiful. Gerade. And it is straight. Bin die eingebaute Wasserwaage. I'm the human water level. MC water level. <laughs> I didn't have to translate this. And now you can see how I do it with the soft side of the roller. And I just smudge on the right um, wall. And it makes such a super beautiful straight line. There was a little cut because my battery died. The first battery. Usually, um, when I record with the GoPro, the GoPro is a able... nice straight line. I'm happy. The GoPro is able to record for about one hour, and then it then it dies. And the color, it gets darker. The paint gets darker when it dries. And this is uh, why it is so dark at the top and it is still wet at the bottom because there's this gray color on the wall and it seems like that the gray color is not soaking that much the um, water or the humidity. Mm. The humidity? Let's make the floor. Soaking the water out of the of the paint. Yeah, let's make the floor. the board 
to protect the roller so that I can nearly paint until the ground and I will have a straight line and it will be all beautiful. No, I will just, I will, I will paint over it with the brush later because I don't like this line. When I see it, I don't like it, but it protects the roller. <laughs> at this moment I noticed that this does not look good. Ding dong. Oh, and now it is 12 o'clock in Belgium. The bells start ringing. Vielen Dank. Meine Frau hat mir ein Küsschen geschickt. Ah, ja. My wife sent me a kiss and I just uh, used this, uh, this pre-installed answers on the Apple Watch and they are like, uh, thank you, I'm on the way. I can't talk at this moment. And... Um, I used thank you. <laughs> But she knows that we always make fun with this pre-installed uh, answers.
you're still seeing this, I can really understand why you're doing this because I, I, I'm sitting on my desk, at my desk, and doing the voiceover right now. And I think it's so enjoyable to That's see. So shine, so shine. Yeah, this will be so beautiful, so beautiful. And I'm really enjoying enjoying the sounds and enjoying it to see how I fill the background. I know that it is not necessary or I don't I, I know that it is unusual to paint um, the background that well and take that much care about it but I enjoyed it at this moment so much to make it beautiful not being in any hurry even if the cameraman is waiting behind me or even two cameramen are waiting for something to happen
Ich glaube, mein eingebautes Lineal ist kaputt. Es wird irgendwie immer krummer. I think my build in ruler is broken. Because it, it gets more and more crooked. Hm? Ja. Das kann sein, dass das daran liegt. Das Beste ist ja, ich fange jetzt gleich an zu sprühen und dann mache ich ja erstmal das Fill-In. Das wird ja auch total langweilig. Christian, du tust mir so leid, weil nichts passiert. I said the best thing is that after the background I will start with the fill-in and even when I do the fill-in there is not that much happening because it is all just filling spaces and I'm so sorry for Christian for wait, waiting for me and he said no it's all cool. He is a very chilled person and he is, he is Mogeln sich ja doch immer noch so kleine Stückchen rein. Some white spots are sneaking into the beautifully filled uh, wall. It really looks like if I would paint with a completely different color, but this brownish, light brownish tone will be dark green at the end. Yeah, on the, on the right side it is a little bit wobbly when I see from here. 
But it is, it is nearly not visible from the ground. Und noch. Ja, den noch runter. Oh. Oh. Ja. Still the bottom is left. Regnet das? Is it raining? Oh ja. Oh yes. It's raining man. Halleluja, it's raining man. Yeah, yeah. <lacht> <lacht> es regnet Männer.
three minutes left. Good. Welches gerne ordentlich mag. Ich mag es ordentlich. Das muss sauber aussehen. Das steht ja eigentlich, eigentlich die, die Arbeit, die ich mache, steht schon so ein bisschen im Kontrast zu äh, dem wilden Graffiti, wie man es auf der Straße sieht, wo rumgesaut wird und so. Ich möchte nicht rumsauen. Ich möchte es ordentlich haben. <lacht> Christian asked me why I Man want, auch aus. want to have hässliche it. Hässliche Kanten, wenn man hässliche Kanten hat am Ende, das versaut das ganze Bild. Wenn da hässliche Kante außen. Und das sieht dann so stümperhaft aus. Das ist der, ich bin ein Fachmann. Ich bin kein Stümper. Man muss auch ordentlich aussehen. <lacht> Sometimes I'm talking so much stupid stuff. Captain? Christian asked me why it has to be so accurate everywhere. And I said that I want to have it accurate because I'm a pro and not a noob. And that that a, um, a background without nice and straight edges ruins the overall look of this uh, piece that will follow. So everything has to be nice. And that I'm aware that what I'm doing is in a contrast to what people know about graffiti from the streets and especially from this vandalism side of graffiti that has yeah, nearly nothing or has nothing to do with what I'm doing. Um, I'm not a vandal. And that, yeah that I, I am a person who always takes care that everything is clean. And I want it clean, I really, I like it clean. And when the piece is clean at the end and looks super sharp and nice and the flow is on point, it, this makes me happy. And this is the reason why I do it. I think it would be cool if I was happy with maybe more, a more dirty expression but I have to go the hard way. I have to go the slow way with uh, a lot of time for, for details and a lot of time for even filling in the background. It took an hour, crazy. But it is necessary to do this because otherwise this piece will not make me happy and this is why I paint. Especially this piece, because when I uh, painted this piece, um, Christian asked me beforehand um, if it was possible to make this document documentary and so on. And he would like to, um, um, to record me while I'm painting what represents me the most. And... I can't make a sloppy piece. It's just not possible. And this is why I also I went so big because when you're painting big, it is always impressive. You can paint basically whatever you want. If it is big, it is already impressive. And for the fill-in, I use the level uh, 5 fat cap, I think, from the Montana level caps.
because it is a fat cap and it is not this dark green because level 6 is the darker green I think this must be a level 5 um, for no other reason um, except that I just didn't have any level 6 caps and as usual I fill in um, the letters just as much as necessary so that it is um, looking clean and sharp at the end but I, I try not to waste any paint this is also the reason why I was painting all around the piece and uh, using the, the paint that already is on the wall in this uh, light gray color and the fill in starts with basalt or basil I don't know how to pronounce it I will ask Google right at this moment uh, basalt basalt Google says basalt um, at the bottom the fill in is a basalt and it will turn into a red fading starting with a dark red over a middle and light red to yellow at the end The spray can was not full. I always start when I um, do the fill in, I always start with the most empty can. So this was probably a half full can. Because I always want to make the empty cans empty first. The most empty cans empty first. This is why I always lift them up and check which one is the lightest, which one has the lightest weight. And um, this is the next can that I choose for the fill-in. So that I have as much full spray cans in my storage as possible. Oh, by the way, I was uh, cleaning up the storage yesterday and the day before. I'm recently doing some renovations in my uh, workshop and, and in my storage and I was sorting the cans and there is a number underneath every spray can where you can see a, a P and a number and this is the production date and then there's uh, a EX EX something this is when the spray can EXP when it will be expired and I really I found a spray can that was produced in 2010 I'm really looking forward to try it out and see if it still works I sorted all spray cans that are older than 2010 
20. Um, I separated them in other boxes and I will paint, I will make these spray cans empty first this year. So um, there will be a lot of um, small painting sessions where I just go painting, probably do some freestyles. I don't know, I have no plans, but I will have to make all these cans empty, especially the old ones. I'm really looking forward to it. I want to paint all walls that I have in my hometown and I have several legal walls in my hometown and I want to paint them all this year. I think I have six walls. And they were all made um, and, and I, 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 uh, and I made them all legal. I legalized them all with um, this um, graffiti permission approval text that is um, available as a download on my website. So if you want to, if you have a wall in your hometown, you want to make it legal, check out smonova.de downloads and there is, a, there is this, um, this text that you can use and some tips how to get legal walls in your hometown. Ah, da noch einer. Ah, geil. Okay, geil. Davon habe ich noch drei. And there are some dark red tones that are covering like shit. And this is one of them. I think it is a royal red. Royal red? Something like that. Terrible. I had to go over everything like three times. But also because the wall at the top was soaking that much.
trust me, it will look clean at the end. But it is so annoying. I hate this when you have to go three times, four times over the same spot just to make it look clean. Yeah, and now I forgot to start the camera on my head. And so you don't have to hear me um, complaining about the red color. It's only the dark one that is not um, covering that well. Yeah, and the camera that was uh, installed at the ceiling over there, um, it was just recording in a time-lapse mode. So I just got this one for you. But in about 20 seconds, I notice it and suddenly the camera on my head is running again. And here we are. Bis gleich, danke Tösi. Hast du einen Schlüssel? Warte, ich glaube, ich habe da noch eine Rosentasche. Hier. Nee. Danke. Tösa will go and have a look if I still got one more gray, I think, or red. I don't know, something, so one, one color was missing. And I asked him if he, he can go to the car and have a look. I was not using the fat cap anymore because I knew that uh, I don't have that much of the light red with me. The wall was a little bit bigger than I expected. 
and um, I didn't want to waste paint because when you paint with a fat cap, it is fast, but you also paint with more paint uh, on each uh, square centimeter. So um, you can't fill as much space with a fat cap as you can fill with the soft cap that is originally on the Montana gold cap. Uh, Montana gold can. And in this case, I think I'm even filling in with a skinny cap. Yeah, with the level one. So if you want to save paint and you got a lot of time, um, don't use a fat cap, use only skinny caps to fill in everything. But it's about 50% slower or even more. And I fill, um, I do the fill in in round, dusty circles because this in on this way uh, you you don't create a pattern, and it is not it, it it's it's I think the most efficient way to fill any space when you make just this dusty circles. Like this. When my right arm should take a rest, I um, spray with the left arm as well.
and with the left arm again. Don't know if this was a special day or something, but I hear all the time these bells in the background ringing. Ding dong, ding dong. And as I see the 22 on this red can, I wrote 22 on it. This is the year. It was the year 2022 when I got the can. I know there is this, or I, or I already told in this video already, that um, there is the production date underneath the spray can. But when you have the spray cans in your um, uh, crate, you don't want to put it out all the time and look underneath it. When you can see the production date or the date when you got the spray can instantly, it makes so much sense. And this is why I always, when I get, get new cans, I write um, the last two numbers of the year that I got them. So this spray can is from 2022. And I really would love to show you the footage of the drone, but this was the drone from Christian and I don't got the footage.
So, jetzt ist nur noch der oberste Teil da oben. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yeah. Hoha, 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 ha. The sounds of happiness. Ja. Are you happy? Yes. And then I did a tiny coffee break. Oh. Das ganze Ding habe ich verpasst. Okay, halt, halt. I don't know what I was talking about. Or what I was doing in the meantime during the coffee break. If something happened and I missed it, I just said, oh, I missed it. But I don't know what. I think I didn't use an eraser can while doing the first lines at all. I just noticed that because I had to paint over the wrong first lines uh, so that there are two layers of orange on top of it so that they disappear. And this is what I love so much about this um, letter, that there is this basket. And I aligned the top part of O with this pillar so that the pillar, the pillar makes a natural shadow on the part of M that is pinching through the O. And this makes it look so much more realistic. It was not on, it was not on purpose. I did not know that there is this pillar, but when I, was st I started to uh, do the first lines on this wall, I, I, immediately, I immediately thought that this is a great idea to align the O with the pillar.
2 hours 12. Fill in. Done. Check. Yo, and as the next step, I fill in um, the blocks or just the shadows within the blocks because the blocks will be in Bazooka Joe, something like that, a nice pinky color. And in a darker pink, I fill in all the um, all the spaces that are at the end of holes or facing downwards or just facing into the opposite direction of the light source because the light source in this case is the window that is above the piece on the left side. So all shadows will fall downwards to the right side. And of course, all holes of the piece are dark at the end. And of course, it all does not make 100% sense. It just has to look right. It does not have to be right. Um, all I want is to trick the eye. And I don't want to convince people who see a wrong shadow or want to see it, want to have a discussion about if the shadow is on the right side or if it is an angle wrong. Um, I think these discussions are a little bit funny but all I want is just to create the Im impression of this three dimensionality and if it is a little bit quote unquote wrong but the eye is satisfied it is right enough Yeah, and doing it that way, doing the shadows first and doing the um, mid-tone afterwards um, saves a lot of paint because most people fill in the whole block first and paint a second layer of shadow on top of the block. And yeah, this, this is um, like you would paint all all parts that I'm painting now just with one layer with two layers so this will be just a whole spray paint just a, a whole can more so The lower part of this round shape is facing downwards, so this will be the shadow color. And the, what is this letter? I don't know where I am. I lost the orientation. Is this the O? Yeah, this is the O, I think. The O is making a shadow on the left leg of M, yes. A tiny shadow, a tiny block, I mean, I meant a tiny block that is facing downwards where the O is overlapping the right leg of M. The whole of O will be dark at the end. Hmm. 
the eye of E will be dark at the end, so the right side has to be dark. <laughs> Basically everything will be dark. <laughs> The tip of the nose of E is facing downwards. And the serif is facing downwards as well. And so it is a little bit darker and makes a shadow on the top side of the nose of E. Mouth, of course, is dark at the end as well. What? Ah, okay, I understand. 45 degrees angle shadow. The top part of E is making a shadow on this block that is facing upwards and now it gets a little bit complicated because I have to paint over so many corners because this pillar is in front of the wall. And I decided while I was filling this, the block of the lid that it will be in the dark color just at the bottom and it will fade upwards, it will fade a little bit lighter because it is not facing downwards anymore. And this is the shadow of one of the bubbles. And I, I have absolutely no clue if, <laughs> if this is right. But I could imagine that there might be a shadow. So the upper bubble is making a shadow on the block of the bubble below. And the E is making a shadow on the block of the upper bubble. And as this is facing downwards, of course it is dark as well and it will get light when the block is facing more upwards and more into the direction of the light source. You can see this white hole in the red fill-in on the left side. Um, I 
I destroyed the fill in a little bit with the ladder and I um, applied some bumpers uh, from, made from some sort of soft foam um, to the to these two arms of the of the ladder so that it does not destroy the wall all the time when I lean the ladder to the wall. Oh, I think I even applied them during this video. Or Tösa did it. No, still no bumpers. By the way, this is day two of making the voiceover. I just managed two hours yesterday. Now it is eight o'clock in the morning. And I'm really looking forward to finish this video and upload it. still looks so dirty. And especially when you're painting that big, it takes so long until the wall seems to look nice and it looks like that you're really knowing what you're doing because it is all so blurry. Blurry, dirty, ugly. And this is the reason when I was doing commissions back then, I always took one impressive part of the whole um, wall and painted this impressive part first and finished it so that it really, it has all the highlights and all the shadows and everything and did everything else afterwards because it is so terrible when you paint somewhere and there is a customer who is nervous, of course, customers are always nervous because there is a graffiti artist at their property and probably he is a criminal or she. And um, this is why I always painted something impressive first because I know that if you would just paint all the fill-ins first and all the shadows first and um, doing you, the wall looks like crap until it is completely filled, until everything's filled with color, and afterwards you start doing the, um, the all the designs and all the details, and then it starts to look good, but it looks like crap for such a long time, and um, it is always better for customers when they uh, have something to see, okay, this guy really can paint, it will look good at the end, and it makes the customer more confident that the whole artwork will look great.
And sometimes I even do it for myself. When I'm not sure about the color combination, I don't fill the whole piece first. Sometimes I fill just the first letter, do the outlines, do the blocks, check the designs and everything if it works. And if I feel confident, then I fill everything else. But in this case, I, I knew that this will be extremely good. So I went the more interesting way. Up. Holes are dark at the end. It is facing downwards, so it is dark. The gap will be dark at the end as well. Okay, I fill the whole um, space in. I think it is ancient pink. As usual, checking which can is the most empty can and starting with the most empty can. Is my camera running? Yes, it is. And finally, two and a half hours, it is time for the outlines. And now everything suddenly gets clean so fast. For me always the first outlines are a little bit hard. Um, Always I have to get back into the feeling of making outlines. So I try not to make them at, at very important um, places within the... F the, the uh, bleh. And now I feel confident. Okay, I got the feeling for the can. Now I can do good outlines. Tiny block is missing. Just checking into which direction it will go because this part is overlapping with the scap of the S. It would definitely have been more clever not to use a green for the first, first lines so that, that I don't have to cover everything in such an accurate way. But 
I've chosen green because I had the most of it with me. And I always think like I have to be more clever with the choice of the first lines, but somehow I'm not able to do it. Especially having the same color for the first lines, like for the fill in makes, <laughs> makes everything super hard. Oh, this is a long line. Ooh. Ooh. Oi, 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 oi. So long I haven't done it. I'm a little bit bisschen. No, it's good. It's good enough. Yeah, and as the outline was a little bit wobbly, I cutted the outline a little bit with the fill-in color. Oh, das ist alles zu hoch. Ich brauche irgendwie... Ich nehme den Tisch, wenn ich immer dagegen lehne und die Wand kaputt mache. The outline needs to be a little bit thicker. This is better. I'm carving, carving the letter until it uh, has the perfect um, shape.
No. I don't know what was I standing on. Ah, I think there was a chair. Ah, yes, the chair. I took a chair from one of the other rooms to have something to stand on on the middle height. This is so cool. There are chairs, tables, and brooms everywhere. You can find brooms, tables, and uh, chairs everywhere in this old factory. And even some ladder, ladders and a lot of helpful stuff that you could potentially need while painting. Oh yes. Yeah. Yeah. Schön. Yes, yes, nice. Outline, tiny block. Of course, the tiny block needs a little bit of adjustment because it has to be dark at the um, bottom side. <clears throat> Beautiful. The lid. Just imagine, if I would not have um, made the background, it, w it was just one hour and 38 minutes of painting. This is pretty quick. But of course, all the talking parts uh, were off camera. At the end, I was um, painting there two days, each, I would say, seven hours of uh, being in the, in the factory. And this is just six hours of raw footage. Crazy. But you have to take some rest between, um, between the painting from time to time. and talking. So, I should have even was bound. Only... Yes, finally. I said I need to build something and probably I have some bumpers. Or oh, does Tösa do it? Messed it up.
And now I take the fill in color and cut it clean. <laughs> there is a crease, there is a crease. That's the deadline. The line of um, one letter that is slicing with the other letter and just at the point where they are slicing, this line <laughs> is dedicated to my dad. And this is why it is called the deadline. Because when I was sketching one day and uh, my father asked me, what are you doing between the letters over there? And I said, they're slicing with, with each other. And he showed me with two pieces of paper when they're slicing with, with each other that there has to be such a thin line. And yeah, he was right. So I said, okay, I call this line the deadline. Not the killed line, because it's dead. It's the line that is called like my dad. Dad. Beautiful. By the way, I nearly never fill the blocks in a different color like the outlines. For me, always outlines and blocks have the same color because it just looks better in my opinion. Yeah. 
Yeah, there is still a tiny shadow missing. I can't translate this word. It's a beauty. As usual, I need to check. Okay, but I can see that um, the O does not align at the bottom. And you just can't see it when you're standing in front of it. So I always need to go back, have a look if it fits or if it does not fit. Usually I make the deadlines with the tiny pink stencil cap, but um, it is also possible to paint them with a skinny cap and cut them a little bit with the fill-in color. And as this piece is so big, it really is not necessary to do them with the tiny pink stencil cap. Let's go back and have a look. Still not good.
I noticed that the right leg of M was too thin and I made it a little bit thicker before I start doing the outlines. So, let me einschneiden on the stelle. Yeah, it's... So, okay. Isn't there a slicing at this point? Ah, okay, like this. Yeah, so much better. More! We need more! Passt immer noch nicht. What did I think? It nearly did not change anything. Right side a little bit more down. What am I doing there? The right side needs to go a little bit more down. Yes, like this. Perfect. And cutting within fadings is always terrible. I still got some coffee. Mm. Yeah. Okay. No, it fits. No, it fits perfectly. Yay. Um, the camera that I'm always, or the, the smartphone that I'm always checking the proportions and everything, it is recording the time lapse. And this camera is always for me, is always for me the point where everything has to fit. Because when you see this um, graffiti from the side, of course, 
all the lines that go uh, over the pillars they don't align anymore or if you see it from a, a different angle but you have to choose one point even if you make a cross on the on the floor and just stand there and just watch it from this one point you need one point where everything fits And for me, this is always the time-lapse camera. Nobody has seen that. It is funny when you see my older YouTube videos like from 2017, 2018 when I was doing styles I was not able to paint these um, long outlines I was everything that I was painting just always tiny lines always just 20 centimeters, 30 centimeters and then I had to stop and start again and this was because I was so insecure while doing outlines i always had a problem with doing outlines and just through the practice of the last years um i'm able to do them more or less on point but i think there will still be an improvement i think in 10 years everything will be on point i just start painting <laughs> And it will look great instantly. Maybe I would instantly start with the fill-in without any first lines. 
because I just don't need first lines anymore. Because first lines are a waste of time. When I did the um, the preparation for the throw up battle with Doak, that never happened because I was sick that day. Um, I noticed that it makes so much sense not to make any first lines and just start with the fill in and do the outlines afterwards. But this is just just possible when um, you practice a lot and when you're painting the same over and over again. I don't know if it is possible to start with the fill-in when you do a wild style. Maybe, maybe. It doesn't matter that the background is not filled that well above the block that I'm filling now because this all will be um, shadow in about two hours. This is a tiny block that is facing downwards of the O at the slicing with the M. And of course, um, the long scap of the O will get a tiny block where it is overlapping with the E as well. And I can't continue this line because I'm standing on a chair. Wonderful. 
Making two parallel lines is is hard. It is still hard for me. Have a look. Need to have a look. It does not fit at all. <laughs> it's crooked, baby. It is going down, 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 down. Ah, ah. Yay! <laughs> Professional!
Yes! This fits. Down, 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 down. Sharp. Sharp. The nose is making a shadow on the block. And the upper part of the mouth of E is making a shadow on the lower part of it. For me, the E is a whole face. It has an eye, a nose and a mouth. And when it got a serif, it even got an ear. Like this E has. Yo, and I forced the E to be a little bit more down, 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 um, so that I can um, play a little bit around with the three-dimensionality because I want to paint the rest of the E over the floor. And also shadow on the floor like I did um, just some days before I painted this one. I did it with the, um, with the dinosaur. Basalt. Does this fit? Let's check that real quick. Nearly. Nearly.
Yeah, I will fix that with the highlight color of the block. So the right side will be the middle tone, but on top there will be the highlight color or one. Nearly. I nearly ran against the time lapse. Okay, outlines oben noch. Still some outlines at the top. This looks already pretty nice. Ja, wenn er ähm, stimmt. Wenn, na ja, wenn unten der Schatten noch kommt, dann äh, ist das wieder weg. Und das Grüne. Hersey said this looks nearly transparent because um, my fill-in ja, has nearly the same color like the background. But this will disappear okay, when okay, I ja, paint ja, the ja. drop shadow. That actually is a is a cast shadow. Ich möchte ja nicht, dass du völlig umsonst die Puffer da dran gemacht hast. Ich will ja nicht, dass du völlig umsonst die Puffer da dran gemacht hast an die Leiter. Oh! Die Puffis. Die Puffchen. Tösa made some bumpers to the ladder. Oh. I was talking about it a half of an hour ago. And now look, two pieces of... Uh, Soft foam. Weißt du, was am meisten stört am so hochmalen? Die Höhe. <lacht> Do you know what is the most annoying of painting so high? Damit hätte jetzt nicht gerechnet, ne? The height. Ja, yeah, the height. Painting high is. Nein, dann ist es aber nicht so geil. Painting das Ding ist, wenn du nicht schön malen kannst, mal groß, dann ist es trotzdem, <lacht> dann ist es trotzdem äh, beeindruckend. If you can't paint beautiful, paint big, because it will be impressive when it is big. Yeah, the only way um, how painting high is fun. Läuft die noch? Yes, Good. it is running. Um, the only way when it is fun to paint high is when you have a crane. And you can drive to all the, the places where you want to paint. You don't, ha don't have to climb up the ladder all the time. This is really annoying. I mean the basket that is um, at the top of this ladder is already a big help because you can store some of your cans and you don't have to hold them all or use the super useless can belt. I, I think the can belt was a great idea but it never was really cool. If it was magnetic it would be so much cooler so that you can like attach the spray can and take the spray can but the can belt with this super small sleeves where you have to uh, where you can't just easily put this the spray can in sleeve is this the right word do i mean a sleeve sleeve oh not sleeve <laughs> Uh, back. I meant back. Sorry. The can, the can belt. The can belt with the super small can backs. One day I will even. Um, oh, adjust the basket and make it a little bit bigger. Shock orange, stop. Shock orange, geben, genau, yeah. Thank you. Okay.
And there you can see the bumpers work perfectly. Oh no, oh no. Okay. As long okay. as you don't bump into wet Stop paint. Oh, is this our drone? Yeah, and even if this still looks a little bit flat, just with the m middle tone, with the mid tone, and the shadow color, um, I will adjust all of that with the highlight. But as another highlight, <laughs> I will give you um, the footage from the drone right now, so that you got an idea of this beautiful room and see everything that I'm doing from a different angle. It is so funny to see Christian making a video about Tösa making a video about me making a video while uh, painting a graffiti. <laughs> this, is, this is so crazy. This is such a beautiful room. If I just had a crane, I would even paint something bigger at the end. <gasps> ah, there is so much room above this piece. This would be so great for a character. <laughs> maybe, maybe. I will make a character one day on top of the piece. Oh, this, I got so many great ideas, but all these ideas contain so much work. And I... Um, really have to think about how I manage it all with my timing. Oh, and you notice probably that the sound does not fit to what I'm doing over there because the camera on my head was not running anymore. And um, 
Without any sound, it is so quiet. So I took the sound from another section that I was painting to lay it under the footage of the drone. <laughs> psh, psh, psh. It nearly fits, nearly. gelaufen. And we are back. Tiny block. And in this case, I paint the light first and the shadow later. The part that is facing downwards is in a dark shadow color. Fading at the round shape. Hast du mich gerade Nick genannt? Ah, okay, the M within the whole of O was too thin as well. And that's so cool. You can paint over every color with every color and adjust everything. So you don't you are not able to make anything wrong. You're just able to s to stop too early. And this is why I always say, take your time, go some steps back, have a look on it. Because if there is any mistake, you can paint over it. Just paint over it. It's just color. Well, it's just paint. Color, paint, it's just paint.
Besser. Oben muss es noch ein bisschen rüber. Oh, the M needs to be even more thick than it was before. I mean, I adjusted it already once. Check, check. Wonderful. Komplett weiter rüber. And also the head of the S, it was too thick and I just wanted to adjust that as well. Now I do some adjustments because this is already day two and usually when I'm at home I stare at the last photo and sometimes I even put the last photo of the day into Procreate and do some adjustments and think about what I want to change the next day to make it as... Um, smooth and flowish as possible. Yeah, this is so much better. And this is something that you you can't explain this to ordinary people why the one letter needs to lean a little bit more to the side and what causes which problem and how to solve them this is i think only only writers will understand this
as usual, the lighter can first. <laughs> it was the wrong color. No! And I add the first cast shadow within the fill-in, which means that I always use one darker shade of red at this point um, to make a shadow in the fill-in. This looks nice. Yeah, and now I add shadows everywhere. Or I just, I adjust the letters still a little bit. Yes, why not? Yes, good. This looks so nice! Oh yes! I wanted to take a piece of cardboard with me. But now I take the um, the sketch because I don't need it anymore. Oh yes. Ooh. This looks three-dimensional. Yeah, 
Also ich muss jetzt Buchhaltung machen und drucken und alles machen. Das wird nicht leise. Man macht doch nichts. Okay. My wife just said that she will make some noises. She wants to print, like always. Always when I'm making voiceover, my wife is printing in the background. Soll ich noch zwei äh, günstige Sticker bestellen? Einfach von so. Welche denn? Such mir aus. Ähm, den. Hm? Den. Um, we are recently doing some sticker packs and um, the piece that uh, I'm painting right now will be one of the stickers as well because it is so good. But I will tell you later on my YouTube channel about the sticker pack. I will show you all the stickers and all the shiny stuff that we are doing. Cardboard magic. Ah, this is so beautiful. Actually, I don't care. It doesn't make 100% sense what I'm doing. And on the dark red, I use um, black as the shadow color. So the tiny block of the O that is slicing with the right leg of M makes a black shadow in the dark red. So everywhere where one element is overlapping another one, a shadow will appear within the fill-in. Always downwards to the right side, so to the opposite side, like the light source is. And always in the darker value that I have. Of course this would be, it would probably look better if this was a darker gray, but I just had one gray with me. So I have to take another value of any color that I have with me. And in this case, I took the dark red. And it works as well. Ah, yes, I wanted to change the head of the E as well, because it seemed to be too big, in my opinion.
There, 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 there is no shadow. Repair, repair. Yes, and the flow of this gap was some sort of weird, so I had to change this a tiny bit as well, just a tiny bit. Da noch. E, ein bisschen höher. Need to lift up the E a little bit. Das ist gut. It is better. Ein bisschen orange. And sometimes it helps to add a shadow where it makes no sense just to show that there is uh, another outline to separate an outline from a block that is in the background or behind um, the outline so not every shadow always needs to make sense because of the light sometimes i put a shadow somewhere because it makes more sense to show that there is a kink or that there is um, an outline or to separate some parts from each other so shadows 
don't always have to be um, in the right angle in case of light. No, now the um, chip is hovering above the M. And so there is a shadow underneath the whole chip. And you always need to be careful because when there are a lot of um, spray cans in the basket, um, the, the ladder folds really, really fast. The ladder comes down really, really fast. Der Shot von hinten, ne? Von hinten da durchfliegen bis hierhin. So geil.
Ah, finally. The drone has landed. Houston, the eagle has landed. Oh. And now the bumpers are not making holes into the painting anymore, but they leave a little bit of um, dust, spray dust. So the best solution still is a crane. Den wollte ich immer noch. Okay.
Gut. Ja, viel besser. Den habe ich noch. Den habe ich. By the way, I'm not asleep, but I don't know what to say. I think I said everything already. And it is just working. Finishing. And I just don't want to put my leather into fresh color because otherwise it will smudge the color. Oh, by the way, if you managed it until four hours and eight minutes, please write something with a heart. <laughs> write something with a heart into the comments. This would be nice. Thank you. Gut, 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 gut. Hier noch ein Schatten. Oh, and the battery died and I, s I forgot to start the camera again. I am starting to do the um, shadow underneath the piece that will continue on the floor as well. And I just do the outline of the shadow first because the shadow will interact with another background element. because there will be some sort of such a green wobbly shape in the background. And the shadow, of course, goes 45 degrees downwards to the right side. And it has to end where the shadow on the blocks begins.
Yeah, and this will be the wobbly background element. The small smoke. And I try to fill it as good as possible with as less spray paint as possible. <laughs> Geil, ist genau in die andere Richtung gemacht, aber es ist sogar besser. Yo, and you can see on my iPad. Gefällt mir sogar besser. The way how I uh, prepared the sketch the evening before. Because I took the last photo of the day, or the, a screenshot of the time lapse, I think, and painted in it, just to know what I want to change, what I want to do in a better way, what is still disturbing.
Yeah, well, now it really gets interesting because um, everywhere where the small smoke, the light green wobbly shape um, is at the same spot like the drop shadow is, the small smoke will get darker. You will see it in a second. So now I fill all the um, parts that are outside of the drop shadow, of the cast shadow, of the freaking shadow. Good. What am I doing? <laughs> Running around. No orientation. So the light green gets the middle green where the shadow is and the background that is already this pretty dark green gets an even darker green where the shadow is.
this was not 100% necessary. But a sweet detail that is not visible from this distance anymore. If I just had a lighter olive color to uh, brighten up the background a little bit. Bless you. Schön. Mm.
So now there is a big difference between the um, fill-in color, the basalt, and the background color because of the drop shadow. Oh, and now I add a middle tone between the outline color and the shadow color. That's not not right, not good.
Oh yes. Oh yes. This made it so much more smooth. High lights, high lights, do the high lights. No, 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 not do highlights. Okay. Ah, I decided to to add a darker red also in the uh, in the blocks to make parts that are extremely dark, extremely dark. And also to separate parts from each other. I tried it 10 minutes ago with the middle tone color and now I do it with a darker color and yeah this works this works look at this yay but if I do it at one point I have to do it everywhere because otherwise it will look wrong and we don't want anything to look wrong at all. Everything that we do needs to look like if it was on purpose. So now all um, ancient pink will be darker at the end. In holes it will be always darker. When it is facing down it will be darker. Oh yes. Wow. Yeah. Good decision. Underneath the bubbles. Another reason why this why this whole piece looks so smooth is that it is all from one family and it is from the family of reds like the pinky tones red and orange and there is no green and no blue in it and no violet only pinky tones and red tones and orange so everything from the left and the right side from a red in this color circle thing. Color theory.
All holes are dark at the end. Hi lights, hi lights. Yes. Oh no, I, f <laughs> I was falling asleep. Um, yeah, the highlights, the highlights. Of course, I make a highlight on the outlines and the blocks always when it is facing into the direction of the vanishing, of the uh, light source, not the vanishing point, the light source. <laughs> when it is facing upwards and to the left side. Or when I want to make a kink visible. And shadows always look better when there is a little bit of light all around the shadow. Oh, oh, 
Ich nehme den Pinsel. I need Pinsel. the brush. No. There was some white paint on the lid of the of the brush the, uh, 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 on the lid of the bucket. Ah, better. Classic. And as the shadow on the block has to end where the shadow on the wall starts, the shadow has to be a little bit thicker. And I do everything at the top, the highlights, the shadows, the shadow on the wall and so on, because I don't want to climb up all the time.
Gut, gut, gut. So all outlines that are facing upwards get a highlight on it. Oh, 
Let's pull that. Das ballert. Yo, and as the next step, the tiny pink stencil cap is there as well. For the super thin lines, the section lines within the piece. And I noticed that I used the wrong color. Yay! Sharp and thin. Beautiful. But as my brain already was just um, jam. <laughs> yeah, after a lot of th thinking and making so many decisions, um, yeah, some you you are at some point not able to think properly anymore, and this is why I took the sketch to see where to add the section lines and where still something is missing. Yes. And in the left scap, or is there already one? Okay. Ah, there is already one. Ich glaube, wir sind doch schneller. Ich glaube, wir sind doch schneller. Ich glaube, wir brauchen nicht mehr lange. Für das Sainz. I told Christian that it will take until three o'clock until we are done, but I think we will be faster. Und das Design natürlich da dunkler machen, weil es dadurch in Schatten geht.
So the red designs within the fill-in um, are getting darker where the shadow good. is. Yes. Good, good. Another section line. Cool. Zup, zup, zup. Then, 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 I do some red cracks within the fill-in, like if it was, like if there was lava inside, and the fill-in is a little bit cracking, and the heat comes out. And I just press the um, cap a tiny little bit, so that there is just even the the, the paint coming out. And this is the thinnest, but a little bit dirty outline possible with the um, level one skinny cap. Adding a little bit of glow. And now the next lighter color, orange.
there's so much energy in this piece that it starts to crack because the glow wants to go out. It's, sh it's just some seconds before um, the style starts to explode. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, wh what do we need? Also, also we need some Some crackles. Okay, Google told me this word, word does not exist. I meant some cracked stones. Some of these cracks. Sorry. I need the ladder. Ja, so krass überbelichtet. <lacht> Tösa said that the light is sometimes really beautiful and sometimes so disturbing. And I have to say yes, it is really... Some of the pinky outlines looked already like they were white when I was doing the highlights. Because the sunlight, direct sunlight was so bright. And I did these crackles. Um, ja. ja, ja, also da im E, im E oben noch. A little bit dusty on purpose. E noch. So that they seem to be on a lower um, layer within the fill-in, like the fill-in was some sort of um, transparent. A little bit transparent. A milky transparent color. <lacht> Wenn man einfach das, was man malt, noch mal so geräuschtechnisch untermalen muss. So, so welches Geräusch macht dieses Piece? Es macht... Und that's the sound of this piece. In my head. It's like I can't smile while painting an, an angry character. And this piece makes the sound... Ja, in my head. Alter. And it is such a joy to see everything come together. If I just remember the first two hours, it all looked like crap. Everything so dirty, everything so muddy. Ja, besser. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> gut, das ist sehr gut. Jetzt noch der grüne Glow im Background. Ich muss yeah, and now I do something that did not work out as expected or maybe I was not self-confident enough to make it everywhere. I was thinking the whole time that I need a lighter um, olive color to put a little bit of light all around the the shadow on the wall. 
but the the green colors that I had with me were the only colors that I could use for it and they were not good. Maybe I could have used the orange, I don't know. An olive would have been really great. Or even more of the light green. But the solution that I've chosen here, meh, I'm not that sure about it. And I will, I will remove it. I will remove it because wh while I was doing this, I already felt no, this does not look good. This does not. This does not really help. No. It does not have the same color like the wall. It should have been a light olive. Or at least a light gray, but not such a saturated color. Ich lasse den Glow lass ich weg. I leave the glow away. Ich glow weg. Nur noch yes. Den Schatten dunkler. And then I decided that I will apply some black within the shadow on the wall as well. So not only the ancient pink in the blocks got a darker red as the darker color within the shadow, even the shadow on the wall gets a second darker color so that there is even more contrast. And it looks just black on camera. Perfect. But I think in the sunlight you will see a difference. Yes. Yeah, and then I noticed that if I make it in the dark green, I also have to add a darker green on the green on the dark, a darker an even darker green on the dark green of the small smoke background element wobbly thing.
Yeah. Christians wife um, Jana will bring us some coffee. This is so cool. Uh, I'm coffee. Coffee with milk. Coffee with milk? Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah, better. Besser, das ist schon mal besser. This is better. Den grünen Glow nicht zu machen. Der hilft dem Ganzen nicht. The green glow doesn't help at all. So I will have to remove it. Oh, but there is still a tiny bit missing. Now we will remove. Ah, I did the same mistake again in the white. This is so sharp. I think a combination of using brushes and spray paint could make a graffiti even sharper and even better. I need to try this. Gut. Ja, okay, dann habe ich jetzt erstmal, dann wenn Jana gleich kommt, mache ich erstmal das Klo Cola da oben. Dann freut sie sich. 
Das stimmt. Ja, and I said that ich I will. Danke für den Kaffee da oben hin. <lacht> I said that I will uh, paint Kluck Cola in the upper right corner as a greeting because Jana and Christian together they call themselves Kluck Cola. Um, and they do uh, videos and graphic design stuff together. And I want to do this in super readable letters. Leave it like that, please. It is good. <laughs> Oops. And I know that I did an exclamation mark on it. What is absolutely not necessary. I could have left it like that. Don't do it! Don't do it! Ah. Now the green is even empty. The universe is saying, don't do it. 
Leave it away. It is not necessary. Please remove the exclamation no, the mark. Green the green shine. I'm a little feige. Still thinking about the green shine in the background. And I, wa I was asking myself if I'm just too lazy or not self-confident enough to do it but I won't do it I just have the wrong color with me start with the stickers I did some stickers on it as well like I did in Brazil because I love these stickers pieces with stickers on it for such a long time I always thought it is so funny to have pieces on pieces like in my um, canvases I did it as well that I always had had letters and these letters were bombed there were some tiny bombings on it but having stickers on A, a big piece that looks so good in my opinion and I've never seen anyone doing it this is my thing now hopefully a sticker for my wife Nova. And it does not have to be super clean now because I just paint the outline now and I will cut it all clean with the fill-in color afterwards. It is so funny that I am doing this um, voiceover of painting a sticker with the name of my wife while my wife is creating the sticker of this piece so funny I'm really looking forward to my first sticker pack
número uno. Mm. And just this tiny black line around it makes it look a little bit three-dimensional, like it was not on the same height like the fill-in is. Next one is for Tuzi. THÜ ist mega schön. And I did this thin inline um, to to make it a little bit more visible because it looked so blurry. Ah, this this sticker was not that beautiful. It is okay, but to be honest, I was not that happy with it. But I was exhausted. I just wanted to finish. <laughs> Why that? Why the second outline? Okay, it's not that bad. The year twenty two sticker.
The smiley sticker. And as it is wrapped around the corner, it is a little bit lighter over there. And it is folded. Such a great detail. Cut it with basalt, basalt. A little bit of shadow. and it's damaged a little bit. SK for skill art crew Smoe Kia Il Art Smoe and Kia are painting uh, me and Kia <laughs> me and Kia are painting together since 2006 already so uh, next year um, it will be 18 years and we are adults in Germany Our crew uh, is allowed to get the driver's license next year. Okay. 
so easy. I need a darker red and a darker white, a gray. I think this is the only gray that I have with me. <laughs> Something like that. Good. SK is a crew from me, Skillard crew. Nova is my Frau. Pöser, my cameraman. Das konnte ich zuordnen. Ja. Die 22 habe ich jetzt auch aufs Jahr bezogen, aber. Richtig. SK, da war ich, da war ich raus. Ja, jetzt brauchen wir noch hier, machen wir vorne, hier vorne, wir machen jetzt mal Nova-Aufkleber hin. Der Standard-Aufkleber. Das ist natürlich in der Perspektive, weil der da so drauf liegt. Mm -hmm. genau. It has to be in a perspective. So it is distorted. And this was the excess paint that stays in, um, in the tiny pink stencil cap. So when I make these super thin lines, there is always a little bit of paint coming out and the other half of this um, of the spray that is coming out of the spray can stays in the tiny pink stencil cap. Brilliant. Super. Sieht das gut aus. Brilliant. Ja. Habe ich denn da hinten gar keine Aufkleber gemacht? Ich will da hinten auch noch einen haben. Ich mache einen YIC Aufkleber noch da hinten. I will make a YIC sticker on the other side as well. Why I see is uh, my crew with Flo, tea to sugars, and Doke, YouTubers crew.
and it's so hard not to hurry when you're nearly done and the, the, the piece already looks nice and but you you know that when you stop right now and say oh it's good enough um, you will be, you will be annoyed every time when you see the photo of the artwork so it is so important to stay concentrated and do the last steps as good as possible good Blinkies. Blinky Blinkies. stars. Finally. Irgendwie das Tönig so geil. Irgendwie sieht er so dreckig aus. Das Tö. Aber der Smiley sieht auch dreckig aus. Das ist halt ein dreckiger Aufkleber. Uh, I was saying that the two sticker looks so dirty, but it could also be a dirty sticker, so why not? Good, we make blinkies, I lost it so. Or hast you einwände? Good. Nein, gegen den dreckigen Töser style gegen den dreckigen Töser auf Klöber. Hä? Ja. Okay, 3 o'clock. Ja, dann. So I'm not faster. I thought I would finish until 3 o'clock. Wind ist, ne? Ja. Wahnsinn. Scheißwetter draußen. The most important thing is that even the darkest color of the blinky stars has to be um, lighter than the background. Otherwise they will not be glowing. And then I add orange and white to it.
viel schwerer als gedacht. Oh, even yellow. I didn't see that coming. What? Läuft die jetzt oder ist die an? Oh, yeah, okay. There was a tiny cut. I stepped back and I noticed that the blinky stars are way too small in comparison to the size of the piece. So I'll go all around it with a fat cap. I just did them in the regular size that I always do. But the size is or the, the size of the piece is so much bigger that it needs so much bigger blinky stars. Yes, and I did them with a fat cap. I don't know if I said this already or if I just thought this in my head. Yeah, then now I just did red, orange and white. So the bigger version of the Blinkies does not have any yellow. That's shiny. Fumes. The fu oh. fumes are making me crazy. Hmm. Ich hoffe. Ich hoffe, also bin ich. Aber ich glaube, ich habe gar kein Rot mehr für den für mein Herzchen. I don't got any red left over for the broken halo heart. Oh no!
six hours in respect to everyone who is still watching this. <laughs> respect! I had to take a different red. Blood orange was over. That is not good. It's not good. It's not good. Leuchtet nicht. Witzig, ne? Die Punkte sind so voll am Glowen, das Herz nicht. Ja. Yeah. The dots are glowing as hell, but the heart doesn't. I will try to rescue it. I will try. Yeah. Yeah, the problem was that the other red that I've used was a tiny bit darker than the background and the blood what? orange that nearly was empty. Yeah. Christian! <laughs> Christian wanted to go to open the door for his wife without a key. It's not possible. Yeah, now it is glowing. Now it is glowing. Better. Oh. Jetzt glowt es. <laughs> Nein. Gut. So happy that I found this rest. This tiny little bit of blood orange in the oh. other spray can. It was just enough, just enough. The log up. As usual, a tiny greeting to the family. Oh no! Ah! Mm, klasse. Why didn't oh, I record I that? Muss das schön verdaut werden. I forgot to record it. Okay. I put some bitumen on the floor. Um, as Fondant. the shadow. Und 
Und am Ende wird das alles miteinander frittiert. Mmm, delicious. I'm just talking I bullshit. I love it. Oh, this is so much fun to do this. It's all for the great effect at the end. Mmm. Nee, ja, das ist ja das, was ich ja selber mache. Ne? Im Prinzip machen wir einfach gemeinsam Jokos. And the bitumen will get close to black when it gets dry. And this is, isn't really a color, this isn't really a, a paint, it is um, for sealing roofs or sealing the car from the bottom against weather influences and rust. And in the next episode, I will tell you how to clean brushes. <laughs> Not. Yeah, and on this side I use the bitumen um, as a base coat. Good. And as this is a very long video, <clears throat> I will take some time to say a big thanks to my supporters on mm -hmm. Patreon, who support me each month with just five bucks, because they love to see um, videos like this as much oh, as you do hinten, ne? um, on YouTube. Um, these are the ja, patrons die, die in January. <laughs> January 2023. I don't know when. Oh, nee, tüs, ich hab noch, ich hab noch. I don't know when this video will be available on YouTube. Um, for a long time it will be exclusive for the Patreons. I don't want to promise that I make more videos like this. But <laughs> at least I want to do so. And if you want to see your yes. name at the end of a video. Um, just become a Patreon, support me a little bit. Because if you, this oh. is so crazy, if you just see all videos that you have, that I have on, on YouTube, all together I will just get 50 cents, about 50 cents of all your views. Or was it just 5 cents? I'm not that sure right now. But if you just become for one month a Patreon. This would be cool already. Okay, thanks a lot to my patrons, to the Healthy Gang. Just wanted to say this very long. And now I eat a sausage. Mm.
hast du es so da hingestellt? Yeah, it looks super weird from this angle, yeah. but... Let's have a look. <laughs> yeah. Yay! Alter <laughs> Vater! <laughs> ja, mai! Ja, mai! Oh, no, no. I add a little bit of green between the bitumen and the wall so that it um, goes seamlessly from one surface to the other one so that there is not this tiny white um, uh, uh, just to cover the line to, to make blur it together. You know what I mean. das auch noch einmal korrigieren, oder das sieht nicht gut aus. Yes. Das korrigieren wir jetzt auch noch mal eben. Just a tiny correction. Yeah. 
Now just look how clean this is. It is unbelievable. If you just remember how it was looking like um, six hours ago in real life or um, after two hours of just filling the background, filling the, the fill-in. Terrible. Terrible. And sometimes you need to be so mentally strong. Okay, the exclamation mark of Club Cola, I removed it. It is still a little bit wet, so this, this is why it is still visible. <laughs> this is so funny. Nova 2, skill art. Smonova sticker, 22 for the year. Oh. Yeah. By far one of the best pieces I've ever painted. So good. So good. Good. Okay, friends and followers, I hope that you like this style as much as I do. I uh, would love to see you on my uh, channel again in a week or whenever. Uh, ah, okay, and <laughs> thanks to Montana, guys. Yo, friends and followers, a big thanks to Montana Cans for supporting this YouTube channel with a lot of dope free spray cans. I hope that you were a little bit entertained, and I hope to see you in the next project. Kito. Okay. Tom, I did not forget about you. Okay, I forgot you. But Tom. Ein Glück, dass die nicht im Video sind, habe ich wieder völlig verkackt. Ein Glück, dass das nicht mit dem Video ist. <lacht> das ist jetzt nicht so schlimm. I'm so happy that this is not in the video because it's crooked. Das ist, dass nicht daran die, die Linie da drüber ist crooked. But, but the line above is crooked. <lacht> And Pisa doesn't believe me. Okay, looks good. This looks good. Okay. Goodbye. Danke, Tösi.